achieving multi-level inheritance. In the previous lesson, we've discussed about inheritance through which we can inherit only one class to another class. But in this lesson, we are going to discuss how to inherit more than one class. It can be achieved through multi-level inheritance. Multi-level inheritance is the process in which a class can acquire the property of more than one class by regular intervals. Now you are looking at the figure that shows you how the concept of inheritance obtained among various mobile phones. Here, the first mobile contains only the basic functional properties of the cell phones. The second mobile inherits all the functions of the first mobile, but it belongs to the color family. Then the third mobile inherits the functions and the colors, but it has the special features like audio and video. Finally, the fourth mobile inherits all the features of the first, second, and third, but it has own special features like 3G, touchscreen, internet, and many more. So I hope you now know the basic concepts of multiple inheritances. Here's the pictorial image of multi-level inheritance. Let's discuss each step of the process. The picture illustrates how multi-level inheritance will work. Here, parent class A inherits its properties to child class B, C, D, and E. Then the class F inherits the property of class C, which automatically inherits the property of parent class A. Similarly, class G inherits the property of class A and C through class F. Hence, class G indirectly achieves multi-level inheritance. For a better understanding, let's work on an example. You will get a clearer idea on multi-level inheritance. Here in this program, class A initializes integer variable A as 20. Next, class B inherits class A using the keyword extends. So, it contains the property of class A and it initializes integer variable B as 40. Next, class C inherits class B, so it automatically gets the property of class A also. It initializes integer variable C as 60. Next, class D inherits class C. Hence, it automatically gets the property of class A and B, so it satisfies multi-level inheritance property. Then we are initializing integer variable D as 80, and it contains a method sum, which is going to print additions of A, B, C, and D. In the class W underscore multi-inherit, inside main method, we create object OBJ for class D, and we call the method sum. Now execute this program to get the final output. This is the output of our program. Here, addition of A, B, C, and D is 200. I hope you are clear with the concept of how to achieve multi-level inheritance.